Hello, and welcome back to the Witness Randomizer Expert yet again. I've been busy since last time. I have not looked at this because we just ended off before I even tried this one. But I have solved all four of the puzzles that I was struggling with over in the treehouse and the swamp. And I did the same thing as last time, and I think that's kind of a good way to do it. So I, I solved them on my own. I took screenshots. I have them. But since then, I haven't looked at those at all, so I don't remember at all, so we'll just take another look at them, and then if I can't solve them in a little while, then I'll probably just refer to my uh, screenshots. Though, I will say, the swamp one, that one felt a bit more satisfying, it was hard as all hell, I that was one of the hardest panels I've ever had to solve in this one, at least for me, I just could not see a solution for a long time, even using all the, like, things we had kind of concluded last time with it and stuff, but at least that one felt like a satisfying solution and like something, like it's almost trying to teach you something, whereas the treehouse ones just feel kind of like just random stuff just thrown on panels and yeah, I didn't really enjoy those as much, but those actually didn't take too long to end up solving just through sheer trial and error and persistence. So I think I'm going to hold off on this for now and we're just going to go and try and maybe finish the uh, tree house. We'll, we'll go to the swamp and we'll do that panel first and then I'll probably leave the swamp for for now and go do the tree house but then if we get stuck again I'll come back here. So we'll probably jump around a little bit again maybe also just for a change of pace because yeah the, the tree house is so overly dense with puzzles and panels you get kind of your head starts spinning after a while and yeah there's there's like no differentiation between the puzzles really it's just more of the same more nonsense it's hard to like figure out a real distinct theme in that area i find but yeah so we'll start over here uh can i even Go this way? Is this open? I think it is. Yeah, that one is not. But this part should be fine. Alright. Here we go first basement right here so again i i did well not i i think someone else said it last time we did reach the conclusion that like you definitely have to eliminate at least one shape entirely and it's kind of the only one that's possible to elim eliminate entirely would be this one otherwise you have to like kind of do a weird combination thing but i was thinking this one with these two shapes, then you can just solve this area on its own. But it's also possible that it would be like this one, this one, and this one, and somehow you solve this inner area together. But in the end, it ended up being these three as far as I remember. But then it's just about how do we solve these three tiles while having this one delete not too much and still be included in the, uh, the, what is it called? The area so i actually don't really remember exactly what i did this one i think i remember more than the treehouse ones the treehouse ones i'll have to like look at a bit but here i think it was something where we have this j piece here hello there laser pointer i guess i'll just call you that from now on and then this one i believe actually went all the way over here and to this tile so we've now covered these ones and this one and then we want to have this one delete tiles. Uh, I want to say it was here. So if it's there, we have this one going here. We have this one going here. Yeah, so then we have this one going here, I believe. Because then we double up this tile, but this one is alone and this one is alone. So these two will get excluded. This one will still be included because of this top tile here, and then we have these two tiles as well. So we have these ones here, and then this is removed, and is it just that? 
Or am I missing something? No, I think I'm missing something. There's something else down here. This tile is removed, I think. And this is as well. These are gone. And then... This kind of thing. I think it was that shape. There we go. Finally. Yeah, this one just took me a long time. Probably like over an hour of just sitting with this one copied over in witness puzzles and staring at it, trying different combinations and stuff. But again, at least that's like a good puzzle that feels like a well-designed quote-unquote puzzle. But the tree has ones, maybe not so much. I guess let's just take a quick peek at what we're dealing with in the next basement, but I probably won't solve anything here for now. So what are we dealing with? Just negative Tetris and adding in some uh, black and white dots. All right. Well, with that, let's just go back to the treehouse for now and try and make some progress there. Because I'm kind of anticipating just getting stuck in the treehouse again in most of the branches. Also, while I was trying to solve some of those treehouse puzzles, I did go to the uh, GitHub for this randomizer and checked like the hints, if there were any hints for expert treehouse. Just Maybe there's something, some concept I'm missing or whatever, but it didn't really help anything about the puzzles, but it did kind of allude to something where there might be a challenge involved with actually reaching the laser. Like maybe we can't orient those bridges in the same way that you normally would think to do. So maybe the timer is like more strict and you have to do some weird thing, or maybe the timer is longer. I wonder if that's a thing Sigma would be able to change, like having the timer actually take longer so you could run all the way around and that might be the trick to it. I don't know, but it seems like there might be some trick in that area. Outer Wilds has been hinting at a DLC? Oh, really? That sounds cool. Yeah, that would be really interesting to play. I mean, I wonder what kind of DLC it would be, just like... Here, another planet has been added to the solar system. Or if it's like a, an, uh, another sort of mini campaign or something. Yeah, that, that's interesting. I haven't heard anything about that. All right, so where do we go first? Uh, I guess let's go for the uh, orange bridge to begin with. So yeah, these ones, I definitely won't remember the solutions. I just have to do it again. These ones, I think I just kind of winged in a way. Yeah, this one was weird. This one kept having issues with like this triangle and like this one being included with other stuff. I think in the end, I did something where like I did uh, like this kind of thing at the end. No, I can't do that. Uh... Oh man, yeah, I can't quite remember this part. But we have to like keep this one on its own, I think. And we had like these together somehow, I think, or something like that. I guess that would be fine, keeping... Oh boy. Because yeah, the trick here is like this one either has to be paired with one of these or eliminated. And since we can't really exclude this one from this tile, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually impossible, right? No, it, it's not technically impossible. We can do that, but then we would have to do some weird thing where like, you know, it, it's not even possible here, but like keeping this together with that and then, uh, or wait, no, what would it be? Yeah, I mean, like, I guess something like this is possible, just in theory? Hell, maybe this is actually what you do. I can't remember. This might have something to it. Not not this, obviously, but something similar. I, I thought I had these together, but I can't really remember all that well. And yeah, I want to say, I do remember I did something where, like, you start by doing this kind of thing. And then you uh, have the second line for this purple here, like this kind of thing, maybe. 
and then this is kind of close isn't it like the two tri triangles doritos at the top don't work here but everything else no 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 this one does not work. Right, yeah, we need to somehow keep this one with this. So let's try and do that. If I did... Did I do, do it this way? Oh yeah, 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 I do remember now. The trick here was like you have to just dip in here just to pass by this tile. And then we do... Did I just go past this one? I don't remember this part, but something like that? No, this is not gonna work. Oh yeah, now I'm not including this again. That was the whole point. Hmm. I guess, oh! Wait, there we go, right? So it was what I said, you didn't have these together. This should work, right? Two whites, two whites, two green, two purple, two purple, orange are fine. Yeah, there we go, all right. I, I kind of had some vague memories on that one, so it was mostly just remembering like certain weird parts about it, like doing this kind of curve at the start and this dip in here. Those helped figure that, that one out. But yeah, so let's just ignore this one then and go for the other ones that I looked at. So here, this one took me forever too. After the, the one in the swamp, I think this panel took me the longest. And I even, I checked after I'd solved it, I checked it on witness puzzles and apparently there's only one solution. And I think I actually remember it because it took so long. It's kind of a weird thing where like, uh, you don't use the T here. Instead you do the T shape gets eliminated two tiles here, making a like one by three. And the one by three is not here. Instead it's like here, I think. So you do something like this kind of thing just to have that because then this is fine with this tile and these other ones are totally fine. The two P's one by two here and one by three there. So I, I kind of figured out that part, but then the rest Took me a long time as well, so I think at that point, solving the other Tetris pieces was like... Oh boy, yeah, I mean, I don't even remember how I thought about it, but just this 2x2 uh, two two can be here, and then we delete these two tiles here, and then the one, this L shape, would go here. So we have this whole 2x3 area, and the only thing that gets removed is one, oh, one hole here. So instead we do this kind of thing, there. So this is now solved, and then we went like all the way around here, that way, I think. Yeah, so this one is kind of fun. I like this panel. It was hard, but at least that's kind of a satisfying solution and like a tricky thing compared to just the other panels that were just a bit more random, I felt. So yeah, the one over here. I think I remember just, like, getting it accidentally. Yeah, it makes, like, a little spiral kind of thing. Yeah, this one... Oh, boy. What did you do here? This is where I, I don't remember at all. Yeah, this one is just kind of... random. Doesn't really seem to have a, a theme of any kind. I think we maybe did something where I went like this way, possibly. Hmm. No, I don't think this is gonna work, right? So this one triangle, I think, was the problem here for the most part. The fact that, like, this needs to pair either with a... Yeah, it can't really pair with a one, right? Yeah, there's no way it can pair with a one. And if this pairs with a one, 
and you like cut it off like this way. Oh no, I, I mean this way. This does work, but then you also have to add in a green, which I guess you can probably do. Like just kind of thinking about this. Like this way also works. Just the, the shape I'm including right now. Well, I no, it does not. Uh, hold on. This way. That kind of thing. So that could be it. And then we pair like this one either here or all the way down there. Yeah, I want to say it was maybe something like that. But can I do that? No, not like this anyway. Maybe if we like, if I dip up here, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I might be on a on the wrong track here. Hmm. So yeah, if this is not paired with this one, then we have to pair like these two together. And how can you do that without... I guess it is possible. But then the rest of the purple become a major problem. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's happening. I don't think this one can be paired up here. As far as I can tell. We also can't have this one paired with this one because that would create two lines. Or like, we would have to pass by somehow through here and then like create two lines for this one. So yeah, I think this has to be paired with this one, maybe. And then maybe we just like cut these off like this kind of way and just have these together. That would work. And then I guess we would have to have like Oh, that looks familiar for some reason. That just like sparked a memory that I think we exclude this one from the puzzle entirely. And then I guess you would do like this kind of thing. Oh no, that doesn't work, but this does work. And then here. Is that it? There we go. Yeah, okay. Nice. I mean, doing them again now actually felt kind of fun, but that's just because I've already solved them once before. Actually solving them just felt like I was just looking at nothing, just trying things over and over. But yeah, okay, that's it. That's everything I did since last time, so now it's just all new stuff. So uh, this will be fun. Oh boy, this one is interesting. Kind of a weird shape here. So we could have... We could like split them off kind of like this way or whatever, just thinking about the orange. Or we could uh, exclude just the dots. Hmm. Can you do that though? I'm not sure it's possible to exclude the dots to have only the pairs of stars with themselves. And if we can't exclude the dots, or even like one dot, that means we have to have these paired in three pairs, right? Expert is a testament on if the dopamine levels of solving a puzzle is worth it. Yeah, this area kind of hasn't been that way for me. It's been too much just like suffering and it, it's like to the point where solving it doesn't really feel like you've figured something out it's just like oh finally i got it just through persistence but yeah i guess it's nice when you like it is still somewhat nice when you eventually get them
yeah, I, I don't see a way to split these up in anything less than three pairs. So we would have to do something like... Like that or whatever. This kind of looks like a good start. Like this looks promising in a way. I like the look of this. This might work. Doesn't this just work right away? There we go. Yeah, okay, that one was good. I like that one. This was like an interesting shape that you could base all of your kind of deductions off of. Oh boy, but now we have an entire new line here. But this is the uh, the last like complete line of puzzles in this area. So I guess let's leave this one for now and let's try and do the other two. Yeah, imagine if I had, like, come here or to the swamp to begin with in expert mode, I would have just, like, quit right then and there. Just like, yeah, no, expert, not worth it, I'm, I'm not gonna bother. But at this point, it's just like, I'm too stubborn and I've come this far, but even though this is probably not even, like, halfway through all of it, I mean, I, I guess we can check. What is it? 172? I mean, I'm not gonna solve, like, 500, but how many did I get? Oh, yeah, this was just, like, one I tried on my own. Yeah, I don't have the previous save, but it was like, I think I got around 300 or so puzzles in the normal randomizer. So, yeah, we're about halfway. <laughs> Treehouse is the most barf-like puzzles. Yeah, exactly. That's why I don't really like them too much. That it's just like, it's just random symbols strewn, strewn across a, a panel with no like rhyme or reason, really. All right, so we have to keep these together. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. How do you keep these together? We have to include it with another shape. Okay, this one looks interesting just right off the bat. This doesn't look too, like, disorganized. Like, this is the puzzle here. The fact that we have to have this tile included in this shape, but this shape can't include it on its own. So we have to use these two... somehow. So we could just do, like, this just where it is, then this one would go all the way here. No, that doesn't work, because then it includes this one, and it doesn't work. But it could be here, I guess? Yeah, I think that could work. This here, this one here, uh, wait, no. This one... Ah! We can also, like, delete some tiles here. Hello, Sigma. Nice to see you again. Yeah, we were just kind of shit-talking the treehouse a bit. <laughs> Just because it's so much, so many panels and they don't really feel very coherent. It's just like puzzle after puzzle with just random symbols, but now I'm kind of finding myself enjoying them a little bit, but we'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, let me just like try some stuff. So let's say we have this one here and then we add in this here. And then if we add in... Hmm, no. Maybe we shuffle them around, like have this shape here. Oh man. These could also, on their own, completely take out this shape, but I don't think you can do that. Because if we take out this shape entirely, we can't pair these two together using only this one. But yeah, I, I do feel like that's the key. Something here needs to like go up to this tile so that we can have this one lying here and this tile being included and like maybe this or something but not quite that. 
or this one going somewhere. And then I want to say these two blue are just on their own, completely kind of separate from everything else. The fact that we need to remove five Tetris tiles. Maybe we remove a Tetris tile from this one instead? That could be it. Yeah, I might have to go to paint to just try out a couple of placements here. Does seem like something gets fully deleted, really? Oh, I guess I didn't think about that. This one could get fully deleted. Yeah, like this on its own, the entire right side is completely solved. So then we just need to solve. It's just that. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That was like the only little hint I needed there. Because this one is right here getting this top tile removed. And then this shape is just here. And the rest doesn't matter because this tile completely eliminates this one. Kind of not as satisfied by that solution, because I really wanted this to be a thing where, like, you had to have the shape added into one of these two in order to fit in the, the purple star, but oh well. Seven tiles total seems too small to get everything. Yeah, that's a, a good point. If there's a lot of negatives, you probably cancel something. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like, if you don't cancel anything entirely, you have to get to all of the tiles included all of the, like, symbol tiles with the remaining tiles, and sometimes that's just not possible. Yeah, counting tiles is something I should be doing more. So, I mean, here again, we have a lot of deletion. A whole lot of deletion. I mean, let's just think about this, like, let's just have this right where it is. So if it's here, in these tiles, and then this one adds in itself, but then this one removes these two? Nah, that might not work. Usually it's more straightforward. You mean like more straightforward than having the whole thing I was trying to overcomplicate this shape into. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Human design puzzles tend to be intentionally tricky. Yeah, I guess it's just like... I mean, it's not always that the... Uh, the randomizer has straightforward solutions. Sometimes they feel pretty, like, clever and... Almost like there's intent behind them. But yeah, I guess for the most part. And again, that's kind of why I'm not liking these treehouse puzzles that much. Because it does feel like just random nonsense. Maybe we just cancel this shape entirely? Wait, so I, I should say what, or uh, do what I said I would, count the tiles. So we have 
six tiles here, seven, ten, fourteen, and we're supposed to delete five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we only have four tiles left to place anywhere. But those four tiles can't be here, right? Because, like, then we would have to delete one in some manner. And this doesn't add up. Like, this could reach all the way up here for four tiles, but then this is included and would delete it. So it feels like we have to keep four tiles of this shape. Or, like, these two together in some way. So I don't think we can completely delete this shape. But we can probably completely delete this one. Just like this kind of thing or whatever. Not even really sure if paint would help here, because I don't have any ideas of where to even start placing tiles. This is a working configuration here. Which is sort of interesting. I don't know if that means anything. Did I miscount? We're deleting... I think I... Wait, did I... Before 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to delete. And in this area, we have 7 tiles. What? How... What did I do? Did I horribly miscount something? 6 tiles, 7 tiles, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 tiles total, and then we delete 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What? So what is not working here? Oh, right, 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 right. I can't have this shape. It's not possible that this is the solution because we only end with four tiles anywhere on the map. We can only ever include four Tetris tiles total. Yeah. Yeah, th this panel feels more like nonsense than the others here. Yeah, I don't really see where the four tiles can be. I think they have to somehow be in this area, but I don't really see a way to do that. Can you solve the arrow puzzle from afar? This one? I mean, I'm sure I could if I like knew where I was looking at. We need a zoom function. Sigma, Coda zoom function in, come on. <laughs> you played Knit and Brutally Unfair Knit last, last week? Nice. Yeah, those are really good games. You should try Knit Stories as well. Knit Stories is like, it has a couple of predetermined or like pre-made scenarios that Niflis made, but then there's like literally thousands of community maps for it that are pretty fun to check out. Though many of them have like copyrighted content and stuff if you stream or whatever. But I kind of want to do that at some point, do like a Knit Stories night. And then I would very, very much recommend Knit Underground because that is one of the best games I've ever played. Four tiles don't all have to be together. That's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we could do like three tiles here. Oh, that's probably the sneaky thing. Like three tiles here and then this tile on its own. And then everything else I believe can be deleted. But then obviously we need to solve the stars. Oh no, yeah, it can't be that because we have only four. I mean, I guess technically we don't have to pair these with one triangle, uh, Tetris piece each. But that's probably what you end up doing. You watched Inglet? It was a nice experience. Yeah, I kind of want to play Inglet. I would probably stream it, but I haven't bought it yet because like... I I'm sure I would enjoy it, but at the same time, it seems like a very short experience, like two hours or something. And yeah, playtime isn't everything, but when it's like, do I buy this to stream it? If something is two hours, then it's like one stream. I'm not as inclined to buy it, even though I'm sure I would enjoy it. Orange star, star seems especially tricky. Yeah, that is a good point. The orange star could be... So the orange star could be included in this kind of way. This is the proper solution for the top. Can we solve the bottom here using that? I think we can, because we just do this instead. No! No! Shit! No, I forgot about that again. Hmm. You have six hours in it? Multiple playthroughs? Alright, well that's that's good to know at least. Because yeah, I, I just like looked at some Steam reviews and pretty much everyone just had like one hour, two hour, two hours, one hour. So it seemed like even people that would have played more to do and see everything wouldn't get too much out of it. What kind of game is Inglet? Uh, I mean, I guess I'm not the one to, to ask. I don't really know much about it, but I remember playing a demo of it at some point. It's like, it's a weird kind of platformer where you platform through like bubbles. You're kind of like on a cellular level almost, and you like jump from bubble to bubble with like physics and stuff. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all I all I know about it. But I think it's a pretty like cozy art experience more than anything. Reminds you of Celeste? I don't think it's quite Celeste, but yeah, maybe some similarities. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very much struggling with this one. I'm just thinking, is there any way we can, like, actually exclude these and then also not have this one included with these two? Like, we would do this kind of thing instead? Ooh! Wait! There we go, yeah, I was very close. Okay, cool. A lot of pink and purple. Uh, blue and purple. So what, what do we have? Three... Three pink stars, or purple stars. Three blue stars. And Tetris pieces, we have four... Nine... Twelve. Right? And we delete... Five? 
So seven remaining. And again, doesn't seem like we can include everything in seven tiles, so we have to probably delete some shape entirely. Like maybe just this one right here. This tile can't be where it, where it is right now. Because if we do that, then uh, we have to include this one and give too many here. Yeah, I feel like this is bait. I feel like you don't delete this one entirely. Maybe we delete this one entirely, but then how do I solve this one here? Maybe this one has to be deleted entirely, because how else? If it's just where it is, this tile doesn't work. And we can't include anything to delete this tile without adding in more tiles. But I mean, I guess maybe we can combine these two. But if we combine these two, I don't know if we can delete this tile entirely on its own. That doesn't seem possible. Just looking at this shape on its own is a, a problem. This one can't be where it is. So either we delete it or we have to lump it together somehow. So maybe we do fully delete this area and then we somehow add these two together while keeping these apart, which is easier said than done. Like, we would have this one here, maybe. And then... Yeah, I think maybe we have this shape here. And then this pink one here gets added... Like... Right here. Like that. And then the tile that gets removed is this star tile here. So we get this shape. And that works everything right here. And the left side is, is solved here. Yeah, okay, so this seems good. So we just need to approach from the right side, solve the right side, and then go like downward and go around the outside. This looks looks good. So then how do I solve the right side? Oh, the, the right side should be easy enough. Yeah, I just need to do... Ah, maybe not. Because, yeah, the problem here is I need to cut this off. From this one. Hold on, let me, let me do this shape again that I had... Wait, what was it again? This shape? Like that? Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. We can just do... This. There we go. There it is. Alright, that one was kind of fun. Oh boy. Again, it's just such a clown fiesta, these fucking panels. Just so many colors, so many types of symbols. It's, it's too much. Okay, three orange, two blue, and only one pink that has to be with one of these. 
probably this one, I would imagine. Like, something like that. I don't know. Maybe not. But then Tetris pieces, we have four, we have seven, ten. And then we delete five, six, seven. So we only have three pieces left. You don't think there's any puzzles that have four colors on a panel in the main game? Yeah, I think that's that seems right. Well, unless you count the party parrot puzzles. They have all the colors. But yeah, in terms of symbols. It's like looking at a square-shaped pizza, yeah, pretty much. Don't say that when Timothy is around. I mean, this on its own can just be a self-solved thing. And then we have the three pieces, so then everything else here in terms of Tetris would solve itself, right? No? Yeah. Yeah, it would. So that could be part of the solution. Can you eat the panel, though? You have to get into this island and try. This left side is really rough to try and work out. Like, how do we solve this one with three lines and this one with only one? And these two? That's not going to work. Well, let's just think about this for a second. Just assuming I did this. Yeah, this is not going to work at all. Not in the way that I wanted it to. I feel like it's something close to this, though. But maybe these two are not together. Oh boy. The SWS Discord? I don't even know what that is. Speedrun, witness, speedrun. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, feel free if you want. That's okay by me. SWS is a group of people who like watching witness streams. That's. That's a strange one. Swiss Roll Discord. But what does it stand for? Super Witness Sluts. 
Secret Witness Society. I was close. <laughs> Share witness streams. That would work. Yeah, it's, it's not secret anymore. But yeah, feel free. I don't really use Discord myself much, unfortunately. I'm an old man. I can't handle new technology and stuff. <laughs> you have another member. Oh, man. I feel like maybe I'm too tunnel visioned with this whole thing, but I can't imagine how else we solve these these orange. It seems like the only way to get three. Yeah. Three pieces by themselves don't work. Yeah, that's true. Focus on the end first. Hmm. Yeah, but then this clump of blue is a big problem as well. Okay, wait, what do I have now? The pink doesn't work. But that's the only thing that doesn't work. So can I do something here for the pink to work? If I just include... If I could somehow include like this and then cut it off here, I think all the sections would work at this point, right? So is there a way to do that? I mean, the, the triangle in the bottom doesn't work, but, like, just thinking about the sectioning. If I do it the other way around here... No, then I can't do that. Seems like there's only one way around. I'm not sure I see that. Doesn't work at all as an opening. It seems like to solve these, we kind of have to do some kind of shape like this. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, you can't get this one from the right side at all. So we have to somehow get 
from here to the end, like this end section, if this is true, which I assume it is, then we have to get here while solving the rest. Alright, what did I have before? I feel like that was the closest I had done. But I, I don't remember what I did. Was it like this way? Hmm. Yeah, the pink is always the issue here. How do you solve the pink? Oh, I think I see how to solve the pink. Hold on. We just include it here instead. And then... I just need to fix... Okay, hold on. One more step. There we go. I think I have it now. This way. And then here. Oh boy. That was a, a rough one, but at least it was kind of interesting. And this one is just this way around. Yeah. Hooray. Alright, now back to this one. Is your brain melted yet? Not quite yet. I'm sure it'll happen soon. Alright. These seem like obviously we have these together. And these have to be together. These seem like they would be together, so it's just like... Somehow we have... Yeah, all of the stars have to be together. I think it's just like, separate all the Doritos from all the stars, basically, of the same color. That seems to be the, the puzzle here. So at this point I just need to solve the triangle in the center. Yeah, okay. I have it. Just this. And then the same thing I did. That was a simple one at least. Or at least for me. I saw it pretty quickly. Stars plus triangles you find to be the hardest. Even harder than the green set. Well, that wasn't true for me. But yeah, you can logic with can and can't go together. Which helps for me. Just having like a starting point to work off of is something I like need in order to process puzzles. Because I hate having like something where you, you have to assume that maybe this is a thing you do and then you have to base all of your future deductions off of that and then that might turn out to have been wrong all along and you just wasted a bunch of time. You're starting to unironically call them Doritos. I mean, of course. What else do you call them? Alright, well, we only have one set left, but then there's probably some shenanigan going on with this. Should I try that? Like I was saying earlier, I wonder if you've maybe tampered with a timing or something, so you can't solve the bridge in the same way as you do in the main game. With Tetris puzzles, the Tetris is usually the starting point. Really? I guess that makes sense. I probably should try and think about that. Doesn't seem like the timer has been changed. So I doubt it's something where you like actually run all the way. Probably not. Yeah, I guess I'm just bad at, like, ruling out what tiles can go where and can't go where.
They look like triangles? No, they look like Doritos. Doritos invented triangles. Clearly. Negative squares weren't used very often in the base game. Yeah. It wasn't really, like, fully explored. No, I just skipped the, the pizza part. <laughs> sure, it looks like a pizza slice. But which came first, the pizza or the Dorito? It's a question for the ages. Should be a counter on puzzles giving the finger. Yeah. I like how I, I never even thought about them as being T's before. Someone said it last time, like, it's just a T. No, it's clearly a middle finger. Hmm. Yeah, the Tetris shapes are the problem here, I feel. Does that? No? Oh, right, no. Yeah, that was working for everything else. No. This one looks so simple. It looks like this shouldn't take long to figure out, but I don't see any configuration for these Tetris pieces that like works with the rest. Trying to think if I can like split them up and just have this here alone, but no, I don't think you can. I mean, I, I guess there is no way to keep them separate. Because if you have them separate, this would have to go here, which would touch the corner of this T. So they have to be in one shape. But again, I feel like I've mentally tried every rotation and shape and like nothing seems to really work. Oh, except, except one thing. Hold on, wait. I think I have it. Uh, what was it? This way. Yeah, I just didn't see this one for a long time. No paint required. But yeah, that feels like it shouldn't have taken that long. Maybe that's the brain meltage setting in. Alright, two white stars, one black. And then we have more Tetris. So in, in this case, there's no way for this tile to touch this square. So they have to be, like, separate entirely. 
which means this one just has to be here. And then we just need to solve this one here. There we go. Yeah, that one was pretty easy to work out. Long boy. One black. And these two are probably together, but maybe not. Maybe that's bait. Maybe you do like this kind of thing and then like. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this one is interesting because like this tile can't work on its own. It has to move over to the left, which means we have to move this tile to the right side. So this one has to be either here or here or like any configuration like that. And it has to move up to this tile. Yeah, this one has to go either here or here so that we can have this tile sitting uh, sitting here. That's like a guarantee this sort of thing, but that doesn't work, so the other rotation... There. Yeah, that's like the only way the Tetris can work, so the rest just has to work. Didn't even like think it through. Two white, one black. I mean, this seems like it would just go where it is, right here. Yeah, okay, that one was simple. So far I like this line, because yeah, this feels a bit more structured, and like it's teaching you some stuff. It's not just a random mess. Ton of warm-up time for the real deal. I feel like the warm-up was the real deal, and this is the warm-up. I should have done this to begin with. Well, we can have the T just here. That fixes, like, this thing. And we can maybe exclude this one here or something. This is almost correct. Just the green tile on the right doesn't work. Oh, and another uh, pink as well. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, not entirely. So this one kind of has to be here, I guess. So then this one can't be lying down here. Because then we would get like this kind of shape. And that doesn't work for one of the pink. Well, for either of them. Can we shift it around? Can we? If I... Wait, what? When you said that, it gives a 5x5? Five five? Did someone say that? Oh, I see. It was like 4x4 four four until now, and now it's 5x5. Five five. Did someone say it was like 4x4 four four before? Oh, you just mean like... I don't know, I, I'm confused by, by chat a little bit, trying to interpret what... What you meant. But yeah, I guess 4x4s four four are just easier in nature. Hmm. There's something fishy with these symbols here. So I guess once again, I kind of just want to figure out the Tetris. If I can figure out a way the Tetris will work, then the rest might follow. I don't think we can shuffle them in any way. If we have this one somehow touch this tile, it would be like this way or something. But then this one would have to go either here, adding in another pink that doesn't work. 
or here, cutting off this one so it doesn't get another green. And if it doesn't go this way, it would have to go, like, this way instead. I, I forget. Do pink dots not want to be with green Tetris pieces, or is it only dots and dots? Or squares and squares? I guess I can probably test it. Like, does this complain? This does not complain. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so squares can be with any color anything as long as it's not another square of a different color. Yeah, so if we don't shuffle these around, this one only has two options. Either go up here, which doesn't work, because then... Oh no! No, that might be it. Okay, this is a weird shape, but maybe this is it. Where you do this kind of thing, like an inner T thing. The, the inner T. That's what I get during BRBs. But then, the rest wouldn't really be solvable here, but like... This is an idea. At least. Alternatively, we move it down by one, but then... Yeah, then we run into that problem I said before. I really just don't see how you can solve the Tetris pieces. Disregarding everything else. You still don't know where the L goes? Yeah. It doesn't have that many options. Either has to be here, or it has to be here, or you have to mix them, but that doesn't seem to work. Maybe I should paint this, just to, like, confirm where all the, uh, the Tetris pieces can go, or both of them. But hey, that was a, a pretty good session, over an hour, without resorting to, to paint. I think I did pretty well, considering... And yeah, I know the T can rotate, I just don't see how that helps, really. Dots only care about dots. Well, I mean, they care about dots with colors, different colors. Stars only care about colors and not shapes, yeah. I guess I'll just add green here. All right, so let's just use this one first, because this one is the more restrictive one. So if we put this here, ah, oh, that's a disgusting green. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. We got to, like, use this. Can't stand for that. Oh, no. I left clicked. All right, there we go. So if this one is here, that means this is not solvable, so we have to add in this shape as well. And we can't add it here, because then we add these together. If we add it here, then yeah, that does work, but then we can't solve the rest. That's what I did before. Now this part is uh, unsolvable as far as I can tell. So if that doesn't work, this T can't really rotate in many more ways to reach here. So this doesn't seem like you can have it there. And if we have it down here... This could have been here, but again, then that cuts off that green here. And we can't have it lying there, because then we get three pink in one area. And that's kind of it. So, I th I think it has to go somewhere else. But then if we move it down here, how do we place the T touching this tile? Maybe we have the T... Oh, no. I wouldn't touch this one. 
Again, I tried this, having the T here, and then this one can't be here because then we have three included here again. And it can't be here because then we cut off this one again. I didn't test that. Does this work? Ah, that is what I didn't try. Yet yeah, it was again, same here. Literally like the only position this one could be in that I hadn't tried. So this would work. Where you have like this shape. I don't know from which side we go to the exit, but something like this. And then we just have to solve. We probably go in here and then we have to solve this one. And all we have to do there is just, yeah, just exclude this one. Okay. Yeah, this one was clever. I like this one. And again, that this feels like a, a puzzle that was almost had intent behind it. All right, what did I do? There we go. Nice. Oh boy. And it gets worse. Three green, three pink. And well, let's start with the Tetris. First paint wasn't all mindless staring, yeah, yet. Or well, I mean, I guess that's one hurdle cleared. Second paint might not go so well. Hmm. What if I just have it the way it looks right now? So I do... This kind of shape for the Tetris. That worked. Wow. Okay. Almost a symmetrical shape in a way. Kind of close. Yeah. Tackling the Tetris first definitely helps here. All right. Four, green, three pink. And yeah, Tetris yet again. At least this this line doesn't have any negative Tetris pieces, so you don't have to think about like, can I include everything or do I have to delete something and what do I delete? It's just like, how do we put these Tetris pieces so that things work? So like this one obviously can't go here. So either we swap them or it goes vertically in some way. Hmm. Once again, this this looks like it should be fairly simple to work out the Tetris positions, but struggling again. Maybe it's just like this kind of thing. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So just this first. Or you could have gone the other way around as well. All right. Maybe we just do this kind of thing, but maybe we swap these around. Yeah, exactly. The pieces were just, they happened to just be in the perfect spot and orientation. That was pretty lucky. Hmm. This one doesn't seem to be able to go over here, as far as I can tell, to, like, cover this tile. Because if it goes 
Uh, yeah, if it's like here, then this star doesn't work. And if we rotate it any other way, like this, that also doesn't work. Yeah, so this one doesn't seem to be able to go here, which means this one just has to be where it is. And it can't be here, because then we have two for the, the star here, so it has to be in this spot. And then we have to somehow rotate these ones, I think. There was one four-color puzzle in the base game. The square's eraser puzzle with each color being different. Oh, yeah, 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 I remem remember that. Where you had like four colors of just erasers or uh, stars, right? Like, I think it was over here somewhere. And you just had to like separate all of them. Oh, yeah, right. It was, it was, was it squares and erasers? Or was it stars and erasers? It, yeah, it was something like that where you had like... Maybe it wasn't wasn't in the quarry? Like second half of the quarry? Oh and yeah, the rotating bridge in the swamp, that's also one that has multiple many colors. What is that? That's like five colors in total. Yeah. So this one can't just sit the way it looks right now. Because if we do that, then we get that. And it's adding in one of these. So if we rotate it, it has to touch its own tile somehow. Hmm. The puzzle in the RGB light room, that's also a, a technicality that is technically many, many, many colors. Man, this, this one Tetris piece is very strange. I might go to paint for this one as well. Don't really see how to not have it clash. RGB are three colors, you forgot white and black. Yeah, but even even beyond that, like if you think about what the true colors of those panels are in the RGB room, there's like orange dots and yellow dots and whatever else. Yeah, cyan, magenta, yellow. So like there's tons of different colors on those boards, you just don't see them. You see them as like one color or black. Alright, let's, let's reassess. Was my assumption correct, like I said before, that this one can't touch this tile in any way? We would have... Like, either it would have to go here, which then cuts off this one, so that doesn't work. Or it would have to go here, which cuts off this one, which doesn't work. Or it would go here, which cuts off this one and doesn't work. And that's it. Yeah. So this this tile can't touch this one as far as I can tell. This tile cannot be here because then we add in one more. So I think so far that is correct that this is the only position for this tile. But then having this, what do we do with this one? We can't add in another pink here. So we can't have it going like this way.
now we're getting into some, uh, some edge cases, kind of stretching the arguments, adding ingredients. I mean, like I said, when we first talked about this, if you want to say that, you can just add in the, uh, the party parrot puzzles in the, the mountain. That has, like, all the colors of the rainbow. You remember there was a scrapped EP about using light refractions? Oh boy. I'm sure I would have struggled with that, based on my performance in the Desert Ruins. I just, I don't see any way this, this piece can fit anywhere. It has to add in, like, one of these pieces into this area, it feels like, and then it ruins it. Or add in, like, this piece here. One EP where you 360 across the whole island on the boat? I actually thought that would be a thing. So I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't. Yeah, the closest we got to that was just the, uh, the green line on the shipwreck. If you have this line here, then it adds in another pink to this area. What the hell is this puzzle? Has anyone found a solution to this one? Or like even, have you found the position for this tile that works? Because I can't see anything. You do have this one? Oh boy. Question your assumption about the five piece? What is my assumption about the five piece? <laughs> I don't think I have any assumption about this one, only this one. But this assumption is correct, right? Or is this the one you mean? I ruled out that it couldn't touch here, and it can? What? How? Because if we rotate it this way, then again, this is excluded, so that doesn't work at all. If we rotate it this way, that's excluded again. There's, like, there's only one way we can touch the corner here, and that is having it here, which doesn't touch this tile. Huh? How could you possibly have a touch here? Oh. Yep, okay, I'm definitely just tunnel visioning. We can have it here. If you don't think of it as only being in the, uh, the corner. So that would work. And then... We could add in this one here. Yeah, okay, this is probably probably it. So we would just do this to begin with. Is it just is that the solution? Oh, missed that. Yeah, that works. Jesus Christ. Okay, so once again it's just like solve the Tetris and then everything else follows. Uh how do I do this again? I already forgot the orientation here. No? Oh god, what did I do? Ah, I can just alt 
Alt tab. I solved this wrong? Oh, I missed this, I think. There we go. Jesus, yeah. Struggled with that one. If a single piece touches both symbols, the other piece can go anywhere. Yeah, that's why, why I wanted to rule that out to begin with. That, like, if this one can't touch here, then this one doesn't have any options at all. But I guess that was just wrong. Okay, so we have three of these, which means one of them has to be together with this Tetris shape. And I want to say it's this one, or we could just shuffle them around, but... Wouldn't it work if we just do... Like, just thinking about the shape. This shape does work. But can I solve it here? Oh, is this where the shenanigans start? Where, like, these crossroad panels actually aren't solvable in certain directions? Like, we can't solve it by going up or something? Surely, yeah, we, we have to be able to go up, because otherwise we can't get to the triangle panel. But yeah, there, there could be some shenanigans like that going on, I think, that would prevent you from doing the normal, like, touching the bridges to, to do the timer. If you can't touch both symbols with the same piece, it's either they go where they are, or they're sw swapped. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, the left side doesn't work with this, so I guess this is out. Yeah, maybe we reorder it. Like, cube here. Just triangle there or something. Not quite. Maybe we do something where the T is actually here, and the cube is there. So this kind of thing? This should work. No? Wait, what did I, what did I just do? Yeah, I eliminate this one from here, so I can't do that, but then... Oh, boy. Yeah, right now I want to go forward, just so we can get to that triangle panel. Change something? Yeah, I can't remember what I had. I guess we can add in this one here, possibly. Like this kind of shape? No, that doesn't work. Nope. Yeah, I, I don't remember what I had before. Oh, 
I think... Did I do it this way? Yeah. That's what I did. Okay, so... There we go. Yeah, I just kind of misread my own solution. on Q, a cube can solve. Oh yeah, yeah, we could just like go around this way and solve right if we want, or go over here and solve left, so that's no problem. There's nothing over here, right? There's no reason to go left. The genius of treehouse triangle panels is forcing 99.8% of 100% speedrunners to go forward? Wait, what do you mean? Oh yeah, there's an environmental puzzle. Yeah, okay. Don't care about that. On 100% you have to go every direction. Yeah, that makes sense for environmental puzzles over here. Or where, wherever it is. Doesn't work. Nor does that. Oh, I see. 99.8% speedruns are just 100% minus Psalm 46. That makes sense. Yeah. Because fuck doing 100% in this game and just like... You have a good run and then you just have to leave for an hour. Oh boy, yeah, I think the brain melt is setting in a little bit. Don't think I can handle too much more today. That's when you do another speedrun of a different game while you wait. Yeah, but you have to have, like, a different PC setup entirely, so that you can still be all tabbed into the witness and have the, like, mouse clicking going. Or get a burrito. Yeah, I mean, why not? We could do this, I guess, if we can solve the rest here. We need to cut this one out somehow. I don't know if I can do that. No, not quite. Actually, just going and taking a shower, yeah. It would also make sense.
Yeah, no, I'm just not seeing anything here. Well, like you're saying, it doesn't seem like this one is too complicated. Loving the music as always, yeah, that's good. I love the music too. Good old Niflis. Yeah, this is just my like BGM playlist where I just, if there's nothing else to play in a stream, I just put this on. So I also uh, recently downloaded the soundtrack for some other Niflis games that I didn't have included, like Knit Underground and stuff. So I'm going through those, kind of deleting the non-BGM-ish, like the songs that are too too hype or too weird, just so we can get some like background music. So I'll have some more songs in this playlist soon. You're assuming it won't get copyright strikes? Yeah, I, I think I've asked many, many, many years ago, I asked Niflis like his opinions on Let's Plays and like using his music for other stuff and he was completely fine with it. But I guess it's not only Niflis' music, it's Niflis and DFast and uh, oh, what, what is the other one again? It's Jan something, I can't remember, but there's like three or four people that contribute music to Niflis games, but I've never had a single copyright claim, so they seem okay with stuff like this. You can't imagine there's too much left after removing Too Weird from Knit Underground. Yeah, pretty much. I added like all my music and then I whittled it down to, I think, a hundred songs of Niflis music that aren't just weird or way too fucking hype for background music. And yet I still have some like weirdly hype songs. Yeah, I'm almost done with the area. I would have loved to finish this before I stopped for today, but I think, like I've said, brain has melted beyond repair at this point. Plus, I'm mostly just reading chat and talking about Niflis now instead of trying to solve the puzzle. Paint, maybe. I don't know. It's so simple. Is paint even going to do anything? I just... Can't see any way except this that, like, works for these two and doesn't cause issues, but I'm sure there's something else I'm missing. Oh, yeah. This kind of thing? There we go. All right. <laughs> Just have to think a little bit. Hold on. I mis misclicked. There we go. Alright, well, I mean, again, this looks simple enough, but is it going to be? Yes, it is. Okay, that one was simple. Did you ever make a standalone OST for Ernog? No, because, I mean, how would you? I don't think there's any, uh, any way to do that, because Ernog's music is, like dynamic based on what you're doing and everything that that's happening in the world and stuff but i guess you could have like the bass sounds and i don't know tailor some sounds into it to put out an ost but i don't think there's any ost can you can your brain think when it's melted we're getting philosophical here I mean, this ending seems simple enough, just that. But then what do I do about the rest here? Yeah, this seems simple. Oh no, shit, I have to do it the other way around. But I can't do it the other way around. Hold on, let me look at this again. What did I do here? No wait, I, yeah, I just I just did it wrong. Hold on, so 
I did this. And there we go. Yeah. What? What the hell? Sigma? Sigma, what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell is this shit? Okay, we can't go here. Um, this isn't a bug, right? This is like Sigma shenanigans going on that we have to figure out some other way. Here we go, Kappa. Great. Okay, well, I mean, I think this might be where we have to end it off then, because I'm not going to be able to do anything here for right now. Sigma shenanigans. Great. Hold on, missing some, some chat. Yeah, it's true. Like, talking to chat and not focusing on the puzzle kind of, like, reforms the brain slightly. It's a proven fact. Music like the music you might hear in Ernog, not actually the music from the game. Yeah, that could be a thing. That would be interesting, because Ernog does have really good music. I love the atmosphere in it. But yeah, okay, so we might have to give up on this for now, but I can reorder these and like, in theory, complete the laser. I guess let's just, let's just try that really quick. Just see if I can... What? Oh, right. Wait. Shit. How do I do this again? Oh, no. My solution doesn't work here. How did I do this then? I can only go left? How do I go right from here? Oh, man. Okay, I, I think I... I probably have to give up for now and, like, do this later. Yeah, let's let's just do that. Cuban tea on the bottom. I'm I'm not sure what you mean by Cuban tea on the bottom. Like which which piece is below which in your solution? Like this kind of thing? Ah, there we go. Yeah. All right. So, let's Let's just quickly see if I can reorder the other bridge as well. Yeah, that was easier than I thought as well. Alright, this one though. What do we do here? That's an interesting solution. Like, this was completely different when you want to go right or when you want to go left. And then we still have to do one more. Oh. God damn it, Sigma. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is not happening today, huh? That didn't, like, get turned on at this point, did it? Oh. Maybe it's something where, like, if you move it to the left, the panel actually turns on, even though left is the only path you wouldn't normally need to put it in or something? Oh god, wait, no. Okay, never mind. I, I had an idea that, like, maybe somehow you linked it to the timer of the door, so you had to, like, pull the timer and that turns on this panel, but then you can't get over here. Unless you can do it from afar. Oh god, is that it? Is that it? Jesus Christ. So wait, in that case, we would want to do this again. Let's just see if that's it. I, I doubt it, but let's see.
yeah, we don't have any other puzzles here except the laser, so... How do you activate the laser before this one? Yeah, that doesn't fix that. I mean, I, I don't think I can just, like, run this, right? This isn't even a shortcut. This is a detour. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright, we need to stop. We need to stop for now. I'll have to work this out. Yeah, seems like there's some shenanigan going on here with getting to the laser and turning on this, this, that, this thing. I suppose this panel will turn on after the laser is turned on or something. Oh boy. But yeah, let's leave it there for witness. At least pretty decent progress overall today. And there are no puzzles that I need to like think about for next time. I'll just not try and think about this too much and we'll just start from here and then eventually go back to the swamp and symmetry. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll take a couple minutes break and then we'll do some environmental that environmental station alpha brain is not quite uh, reformed yet.